So my husband and I um, joined Kol Hadash. We, we were getting married and we were looking for a congregation that resonated with us. He grew up conservative and I grew up reformed and we knew that really didn't jive with what our beliefs were. We felt that we were raised kind of being told what to believe and we really wanted our kids to have more of a choice. They started um, Sunday school when they were in pre-K and have both gone through bar mitzvahs um, with Kol Hadash. My kids aren't real athletic. Um, they have their own challenges. Both of them are in a private therapeutic school for kids with learning disabilities, but often when you have a learning disability, you struggle with physical limitations, speech limitations, social emotional regulation. Um, so all of those areas they struggled with at our congregation, and what was really neat is because they had their own unique challenges, they were able to accommodate the bar mitzvah to meet their needs. For example, they did their own project and met with the rabbi weekly and were able to find things that really, really connected with them. My older son did a project on Sims Tabak, who's the author of Joseph Had a Little Overcoat, and he, rabbi was able to work with him and figure out a way to make that meaningful in the bigger picture of his Jewish identity and of the Jewish community. Unfortunately, Sims Tabak, the author, had died just before my son's bar mitzvah but we connected with his daughter. And his daughter sent us a book and dedicated it to my son and his bar mitzvah and the research. We didn't tell my son about this ahead of time. So when he went to the ark to take the book out and he read from it, the rabbi then informed him when he was done that the book had been specially dedicated to him by Sim's son. So it was just a very moving experience. Levi, my oldest, had been quite ill before his bar mitzvah and had been in the hospital and really wasn't sure if this was something he was going to be able to go through with. And even though the service was accommodated for him, there was such a sense of pride and accomplishment of being able to have a bar mitzvah. And it was something he hadn't experienced before because of his limitations and his disabilities. And our congregation was so good in being able to make sure that he took the classes. He had volunteers to be his aid. A lot of people stay after confirmation and really wanted to help them. Because of his illness, he really started um, to question whether or not he believed in God or not. And our congregation gave him that space and openness to explore what it meant to him. And it didn't necessarily teach him what to believe or what not to believe, but it gave him the space to explore what it would mean for him personally. And I had the same experience with my younger son. So I felt like my husband and I weren't able to give them that kind of education, knowing what our beliefs are, but we brought them to somewhere that supported them and educated them about what their choices would be so they can make it on their own. I think the most important takeaway from my son's experience in Sunday school is that they feel empowered about who they are and they have knowledge about their Jewish identity and they can make their own choices going forward as to what they want to pursue in terms of how much religion they want in their lives and what kind of religion they want in their lives.